Yo, what is up guys? My name is G Legend. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Destiny FPS series on my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the grenade types in Destiny. So that all the types, I'm going to give you guys a grenade guide basically. The grenades differ between classes and stuff like that. So all that's going to be explained here. So if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like. That helps me out a lot. Anyway, if this interests you, don't go anywhere because we're just getting started. Alrighty, so no dilly dally, let's get right into it. I'm gonna first show you guys what the four types of grenades are. I'm gonna talk to you guys about them really quick, give you guys a definition for each type. There's four types of grenades, and then there's a bunch of other grenades that fall under these types. So I'm gonna make sure to organize everything for you guys. The first type of grenade is the persistent grenade. Those are the ones that you throw, and it, it leaves like a field of energy almost, and it harms anybody that's inside it. So that, that's one type of grenade in Destiny. A second type of grenade is the blast grenade, and this is your, pretty much your typical simplistic grenade. You throw it and it explodes, that's pretty much, that's a simple one, the blast grenade. And then the sticky grenades, those are like the Semtex from Call of Duty, you throw them and they stick to wherever you, you know, wherever you, uh, wherever they land. They stick there and usually they are, they are stronger if you stick them to something. Whatever you stick them to, it's going to take the most damage from these kinds of grenades. And then lastly, but certainly not least, is the secret grenades. The secret grenades basically do just that. They seek and attack. So you throw them and they seek enemies nearby. And that's basically it. So now that you have an understanding of the four types of grenades that there are in Destiny, now we're going to talk about more specific grenades. So let's start with the Titan. Every single every single uh, class gets different types of grenades. The Titan Striker. So what, what he gets, he gets a flashbang. Basically that just blinds your enemies and then he also gets a pulse grenade and that periodically damages enemies that are trapped inside it. And then he gets the lightning grenade which is probably my favorite. Uh, that one sticks to uh, surfaces and, and then it shoots bolts of electricity or lightning to people. You do have to be careful with that one though because it could kill you as well. So that's Titan Striker Lev. What about Titan Defender? So what he gets, he gets a spike grenade and that's something like the pulse except that it's faster. The pulse grenade is kind of like that but it's faster. So people trapped inside die uh, periodically but it's faster. There, it's uh, like faster successions. So that he gets that and then he gets the suppressor grenade that pretty much halts the enemy abilities for a short duration and that's kind of useful but not so much. I don't find it as useful as other grenades but I guess some people like it. It's just up to personal preference. So those are the grenades that the Titan gets. Let's talk about the Hunter. The Hunter Gunsinger. He gets the incendiary grenade which lights up enemies. Basically that's it. It'll light up your enemies, light them on fire and uh, they will eventually die. They burn up anybody in the blast radius, so that's pretty much all that does. And the swarm grenade, that basically you throw it and it follows enemies, like they're drones, little drones that follow enemies around. So it's a seeker grenade, it falls under the seeker category. And then we got the trip mine grenade, which is sticky and then it, it triggers by enemies passing its laser trigger, hence the name trip mine. You know, trip mine grenade, so that's pretty much all he gets. And then we got the Hunter Blade Dancer. The Hunter Blade Dancer, he gets a flux grenade, and that's a sticky. That's basically that. That's all that is. Just a sticky grenade, like a Semtex from Call of Duty. Uh, just a, that's what it's called. It's called a flux grenade. And then we get a skip grenade, and that one just seeks enemies, so that's under the seeker category. You basically throw it, and anybody in the blast radius is gonna have a secret surprise attack, which is actually kind of cool, but. Anyway, that's what that does. And then lastly, we got the Arc Bolt Grenade. That basically just chains bolts of lightning to nearby enemies. That could be up to three enemies nearby, no more than three. If you play Black Ops 3 at all, you can compare this to the Prophet Specialist. He is pretty similar to what this grenade does. Anyway, next one we got Warlock the Void Walker. Let's start with Void Walker. He gets the Vortex Grenade. This one is actually one of my favorite. It's one of the ones that I use most. It basically creates a vortex and it continuously damages enemies inside. So so that's basically one of the persistent grenades that falls under, under the persistent category that we mentioned in the beginning of the video. And then he's got the scatter grenade which is actually kind of cool as well. It splits into submunitions and then it covers a large area with explosions. So that's a bunch of little explosions all over the play, all over the place, all over that little area. And then he gets the Axion Bolt which is a seeker grenade. Basically like the ones we've already talked about. It launches two bolts of energy that seek nearby enemies. That's pretty straightforward. So lastly we got the Warlock Sunsinger. He has a solar grenade that is basically what opens up solar light and then it damages enemies inside the radius basically that's under the persistent grenade category that we talked about at the beginning of the video and then we got the firebolt grenade 
that seeks four enemy targets and it's around this, that radius of course and it's not too strong it's already been noted it's not very strong and that would fall under the seeker category and then we got the fusion bolt this is basically a sticky grenade that has is more powerful when you stick it to the enemy so if you can stick the enemy with the uh, secret well, or not the secret grenade with the fusion bolt it is more powerful and it damages that enemy more than anything else so that is really something to keep in mind Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to check out the video that's on your screen right now. It, I'm going to talk to you guys about the best grenade in Destiny. The number one grenade, the number one thing that you can do. It. This is actually going to be an eye-opener for you guys. I'm positive. And hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. And hopefully you guys enjoy the next one that's coming up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if I see you back here again, then I'll catch you in the next one.